Hello, this is Simon, this is Maya 0.46, and as you can hear we've got some nice new menu music. We've also got a continue button on the menu so you can load the save game instead of having to load from inside a game. So you notice the lighting's much better and the camera's quite smooth now. Um, that's due to some big optimizations. You'll find that if you're on an i5 now with a decent GPU you'll get 60 frames a second quite easily. So we're going to place a workshop, we're going to place some workshop tables, and we're going to place a new object, which is the 3D printer, that allows you to print high-tech stuff and robots and things. At the moment you can use it to print out new imps. I'm just going to put our current imp to work with a room over here, and we'll dig that out. And I think the workshop's a bit small, so I'm going to just make it a little bigger. I think I'm going to place a living area over here, and place some beds in it, so our colonists don't die of fatigue, because that'd make for a terrible demo. So you can place it using the coordinate system and the bearings, which are pretty handy. I think they're in the previous build, but it's worth pointing them out. And you can press control, of course, to lock things to the grid, or press control when you're rotating them um, to lock them to 90 degree angles. I'm going to delete that bed, just right click it, get rid of it, and I'm going to place a couch, just a bit more aesthetically pleasing. But you, you basically don't need more than two beds for four con lists. So I'm placing a wind turbine outside, because we need some power generation for our base. So here's the nanoscale 3D printer, and it's ready and built. So we just need to click on it, and that will uh, start printing the new imp. So you can build as many imps as you have colonists. And there we go. So he's ready. As soon as he's ready, he'll come out and start doing tasks that are already waiting around the base. So you need to build bigger research rooms now, um, that's because we have a whole bunch of new items that you can place in it. I will talk about that in a bit. Um, my colonists have all gone to sleep. I guess it's better than dying. Um, <laughs> right, as you can see the, co the uh, imps are working together in a team and they will delegate work pretty efficiently and they'll dig out in the most efficient manner now, which is pretty useful and it speeds up the game quite a bit. So outside we have our wind turbine but we need a communications tower and we need a solar still to get some water and we'll build some science stations so a weather station and a seismic station and I'm going to place some lights about which will encourage our colonists to go out there and it will also keep away the mole rats because they're sensitive to light they'll actually stay away from brightly lit areas um, so dumping these down will kind of keep them away. Also, I'm going to place some other lights. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. I'm going to place some other lights. There we go. Um, that's just so when I call in uh, new colonists, I'll be able to gauge on the, where on the map they are, because sometimes it's difficult to see when they land quite far away. So the imps are sitting still because they've got nothing to do. Um, those are just fossils sitting in that empty room down the bottom, so I'm going to give them a big place to dig out. Um, there's that vent there which I'm going to keep an eye on because if I forget to seal it off then it will start polluting the base's atmosphere very slowly. Let's build a door in this room as well. So the colonists are all busy building stuff. They're building the microwave communications tower. The wind turbine's damaged, um, kind of shows the need for research now, because as soon as you research things like the electromagnetic bearings, you don't really get that issue anymore because they, they take like three or four times the amount of time to break. Also you notice this kind of wet effect on the ground, so this is groundwater pooling, uh, much like the snow, 
but the groundwater is useful um, for lots of different things. One, it'll show you kind of the level of damage that things things sitting in pools of water are likely to get damaged much more quicker. Um, but it also kind of will let you know how sodden the uh, water table is. When you're mining, um, you'll be able to break through into water and lava. If you break through to water, um, you know, bad things will happen if you break through to lava. Even worse things will happen. Um, but there's no way to judge the lava, but with the water you can kind of judge it by how sodden the ground is outside. Obviously you'd take a few minutes, like, uh, game minutes to s soak through. So it won't be immediate, but you can remember, oh yeah, the ground was sodden earlier. So the imps are being a bit slow, so I'm going to get some more. I think I'm going to save the game quickly. And then call in some more colonists. As you can see, that thing's pretty useful. Almost dead on as well. This is a cat wandering around or something. The imps are pretty much done. I think they're not picking up that rock because there is uh, the um, storage room is full because I didn't build a hopper for them to play stuff in. I'm going to give them more work though and get them building around here so I can expand the base again. Colonists are busy building stuff but they don't seem to have built the microwave tower. I think it might be because uh, there's a pathing issue to it, um, so we're going to build it somewhere else. They've probably been emailing me about it, but you know I never read those emails. I always forget that it actually generates them. So I'll place it there and I think they'll be able to get that, to that bit easier. There's a lot of stuff around there which might be blocking it. So. We need to build a medical room. Uh, the medical room is useful when your colonists are likely to be hurt. Um, just wait for this guy to go away. I don't know what he's doing. Um, they seem to be running about. Oh yeah, they've they've gone to build the microwave tower by the look of it. Okay, the guys run away now. So building our medical room. It's useful, especially in highly seismic areas where your colonists are going to get hurt a lot by things like earthquakes, um, but also potentially from uh, creature attacks and stuff in the newer builds. Uh, as you can see, they're building that microwave tower now, so it was as I suspected. Probably caused by all those plants we can see on the right of the screen. Um, they'll grow up too much and they, they block the paths, especially for the guys in the bulky suits. As you can see, the wind turbine can pretty much power an entire base um, in, in the early stage of the game, so you don't really need to rush into building tons and tons of wind turbines and solar, um, solar panels and things, because generally you're just creating a maintenance workload that is unmaintainable, and you guys will just die. Oh yeah, one of the other things I want to show you if I can find one, oh there we go, um, is the new burrows. I made this. Um, I haven't done any 3D stuff for like months, but actually fired up ZBrush and sculpted it, because why not? Um, but those are what the mole rats will use, the, all the mole rat like creatures will use to kind of come out at night. Um, so it will actually allow you to pick out and find where they're going to come from. So our research is now uh, started going, so we've got these samples that are growing from outside. Um, they give you a constant data rate, and they give you information about the planet and about lots of different things. As you can see, we're crunching some of the research now. Nothing stored yet, but we'll have some soon. Um, place the beds in here, because we never got around to that. Since we don't have much else to do for the colonists, we can place all four, and hopefully they'll get built. But 
there's something I've noticed is the rooms are going red and that means we have a uh, lack of atmosphere so we need to make sure our, oh we don't we actually don't have any atmosphere generators uh, are so preoccupied building beds yeah build atmosphere generators they're really important so colonists are building the atmosphere generators but I feel it may now be too late yeah. I've doomed them to a horrible, horrible death. And I think this will be a good place to leave the video. Oh, I'm having cable. Okay, well, I will see you at 0.47, which is coming soon, with a new creature. And I hope you like this video. Bye!